So this is a proclamation on Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Organize the national theme of this year's Sexual Assault Awareness Month is Drawing Connection, Prevention Demands Equity, and calls on all individuals, communities, organizations, and institutions to change ourselves and the system surrounding us to build racial equity and respect. And whereas according to many studies on the causes of sexual violence, systems of oppression such as racism, sexism, classism, heterosexism, ageism, and ableism contribute to higher sexual harassment, assault, and abuse rates. And whereas rape is among the most underreported crimes for many reasons, including victims' fear of being disbelieved or further traumatized within the legal system. Additional barriers such as language, immigration status, gender bias, and systemic racism further oppress and silence victims. And whereas individual and community impacts of sexual violence are rooted in and compounded by racial, gender, sexual orientation, and other forms of oppression, Black, Indigenous, and other people of color, people living in poverty, LGBTQIA plus people, elders, people with disabilities, and other people targeted by oppression are affected by sexual violence in significant and complex ways. And where sexual violence exists on a continuum of behavior and includes racist, sexist, transphobic, homophobic, ableist, or other hate speech, this ranges from rape jokes to verbal harassment to threats of rape and assault. Harassing comments and behaviors that take place online can and do traumatize victims and their impacts should not be minimized. And whereas negative impacts of sexual violence trauma on adults, youth, and children include fear, concern for safety, missed work or school, injury and physical and mental health conditions, including symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. And whereas by visiting the Washington Coalition of Sexual Assault Programs website, community members can find contact information for organizations that deliver preventative programs and provide resource services for victims of sexual assault. And whereas working together as a community, we can alleviate the trauma of sexual violence by ensuring supportive resources are available to survivors while standing up to and actively disrupting harmful attitudes and behaviors that contribute to sexual violence. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Burien, Washington joins advocates and communities in taking action to prevent sexual violence by standing with survivors and proclaiming April 2023 as Sexual Assault Awareness Month in the City of Burien and urges all community members to join us as we commit to a safer future for all children, young people, adults, and families in our community, dated this 20th day of March, 2023. Um, we have an advocate who uh, intended to join us this evening, um, Meryl Cousin. I just wanna ask really quickly, if you are on Zoom, if you could raise your hand and let us know. Um, see it. There we go. Awesome. So um, to introduce Meryl, uh, I have had the honor to work with Meryl on the Domestic Violence Initiative Regional Task Force. Uh, Meryl Cousin is the Executive Director of the Coalition Ending Gender-Based Violence. She has over 35 years experience working to end domestic and sexual violence. She served on numerous local, regional, and statewide committees aimed at improving communities' response to sexual assault and domestic violence. She's also written articles, training curricula, and booklets about gender-based violence and has provided professional training and taught college courses on these issues. So I am so uh, honored to have Meryl joining us uh, this evening to accept the proclamation, and I would love to welcome her to say a few words. Hi, thank you so much, Council Member Moore. Um, that was a really, really powerful uh, Sexual Assault Awareness Month um, proclamation. I am uh, really uh, thrilled to be here. Um, as you said, my name is Meryl Cousin. I'm the Executive Director of the Coalition Ending Gender-Based Violence. And our coalition educates, organizes, and leads over 30 organizations in King County that are working together to end sexual and domestic violence and to support thousands of survivors in our community. So we're really honored to join you today in acknowledging April as Sexual Assault Awareness Month and to make visible the persistent and pervasive nature of rape culture and abuses of power that continue to thrive in our society. 
um, as you said, from harassment in person or online to physical assault and rape, we know that all forms of sexual violence are rooted in sexism, racism, heterosexism, and other forms of oppression. Additionally, it's all too clear that we have to continue to assert and uphold the fundamental right of every person to bodily autonomy and consent. The coalition is honored to support a strong, dynamic community of service providers in King County. Um, and these providers are responding to unprecedented numbers of survivors reaching out to support. The King County Sexual Assault Resource Center is our region's largest provider of services for sexual assault survivors. And every year, they provide counseling and legal advocacy to approximately 60 Burien residents. Um, and more, more than half of those are below the age of 18. Other agencies are serving Burien, um, provide culturally specific services for um, Black, Indigenous, and P other people of color survivors, refugee and immigrant survivors, LGBTQIA plus survivors, and survivors who have disabilities. Uh, most local programs are reporting that calls for services are up as much as two to three times just since the beginning of last year. And this is, of course, due in part to the profound effects of the pandemic, but I also believe it's due to the increased awareness of what sexual violence is and that help is available in our community. It really takes enormous courage for survivors to speak out about their experiences, and they take incredible risks to do so. And so they need non-judgmental, supportive advocacy and counseling designed to increase their safety, emotional well-being, and economic stability. So we have to honor the courage and dignity of all survivors by ensuring that supportive services are actually available and accessible when they're needed. And we must support prevention programming that focuses on healthy relationships, affirmative consent, and gender and racial equity. We're so proud to stand with you, our member agencies, in, um, and everyone here in our commitment uh, to these goals and in our collective efforts to build a world free from sexual violence. So thank you, Council Member Moore, Mayor Aragon, Deputy Mayor Schilling, and um, all, all council members for making this issue a priority here today. By raising awareness of sexual assault today and throughout the year, you use your powerful platforms to inspire awareness and action. We really appreciate this important, important acknowledgement and thank you for your ongoing leadership on behalf of survivors in our community. Thanks so much. Thank you, Meryl. Thank you so much.